Hello guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I wanted to show off or showcase, I should say, some of my restyles that I've been up to lately. I've been really enjoying. Oh, not the um. <laughs> Ooh, I'm running out of breath already. Um, I've really been enjoying restyling my brats girlies, and I want to show you guys what I've been up to. And also, someone requested like months ago when I was doing Rainbow High restyles to do brats restyles, and now I'm in my brats era, so I guess you can expect more brats restyles. So. Let's get into it. First, we have Pampered Pups Chloe, who has Princess Roxy screening. I'm not sure if Princess Roxy was the first doll to have it. However, I associate this screening with Princess Roxy because I am a princess stand. And Miss Pampered Pups Chloe is no different. I gave her this really cute crown, which I believe came with one of the holiday um, Bratza dolls. I gave her this... Um, what do you call this? <laughs> we got rid of this clip. Who probably came with, yeah, I'm pretty sure came with one of the Girls Night Out dolls, um, Repros. These are, bar this is a Barbie extra dog necklace. And I have no idea what necklace that is. This came in a lot and I thought it looked cute on her. Then she has one of those walking um, Bratz dolls shirts. So, then we have this um, jacket that is LOLMG Sways. She has a pretty and punk jade second outfit skirt slash like the um, head games doll skirt. And then she has these silver heels and I love how she turned out. My original plan was not to give her a princess like makeover, but when I was like restyling her, I was like, wait, she, her face kind of ate like the mug. Oh yeah, like she's that girl for real, so. I had to like amp her up and give her like Princess Chloe 2.0. Next we have my birthday bash Chloe restyle. I cannot believe how how she came out. Like this went from literally my, my least, well not my least favorite. It went from one of my most boring dolls because I got her in a lot. I like boy washed her hair or whatever. And then she was just sitting on my shelf. I'm like, I have no idea what I'm gonna do with her. So one day I was just like playing around with her. Um, I had got some of these extra pieces and like a lot. So I'm like, okay, let's see what we can do with her. Uh, first, I actually did her outfit first before I did her hair. So I gave her Fashion Pixies Chloe's top. This is Princess Jade's necklace, which I actually need to give to my Princess Jade, but she's she's good borrowing, borrowing it right now. Um, she has another neck like choker under this one. She has some earrings. I don't know whose earrings they are. She has a girl's night out like clip in her hair. She has some of these little like pink little like details in her like, braid. I have no idea <laughs> where these are from. I just got them in lots and stuff. Um, these sleeves are a 2010. Okay, I'm back. These sleeves are cut off of this 2010s. Um, I'm not sure which doll. I want to say Yasmin. I'm probably wrong. But this is a 2010s doll's top. I thought this top was kind of god awful. It's just so, it just gives me like, I don't know, like, I hate, I just don't like the style of top. But I love the sleeves. So I cut the sleeves off, gave them to her to give her a really cute, edgy, but like still like pretty princess Oh, that's Yasmin, but like a pretty like princess style or whatever. Then this is probably, I want to say, um, ooh, from Real Funk, um, Nevra Repro's like pink little, you know, belt. <laughs> it's really cute, the glitter belt. I have no idea who pants these are, but they are so cute. And I think I have another pair. I get so many jeans and lots which I'm very grateful for, but like they're kind of hard to identify unless you're just like super good with like identif identifying brat jeans. Or they have like a Pacific style that you can like ID. Um, then she has the original Sweetheart Megan's shoes. And yes, look at her. I'm obsessed, you guys. Like I did her hair with these curls. I used the got to be, um, styling gel that stuff is perfect for this like what i do is like i put the gel on the hair of course lay it to her head use more gel to like lay it to the head I almost use the gel as the glue to the head um and then i like use a paper to dry it as fast as possible so it doesn't like come up and then when you like dry it fast as possible it like sticks there you know what i mean 
Hope that, hopefully that makes sense. But I love her. She's just so unique. And like no other doll has this type of hairstyle in my collection. So she's gonna be one of my all time faves for sure. Next up we have Sleepover Leia. She's so pretty. I didn't go for anything too crazy with her. Like compared to like Birthday Bash Chloe, she's simple. <laughs> we gave her a cute little high up. Well, yeah. Yeah, I would say half up, half down, but no, it's just a ponytail that I wrapped and then gave her her, this is pretty much her original hairstyle um, that I did. And then we gave her this really cute clip. These are GDS, GCDS Shasha's earrings. She has this choker. She has this really cute, pretty um, shirt. Then we have um, Wintertime Wonderland Dana's skirt. This is actually Brat's baby's <laughs> Phoebe's jacket, but I like put it on her and then like I didn't I don't push it all the way up because it's like of course the sleeves aren't like long enough. But if you put it like this, it makes her look like she's wearing her jacket hot half off. So I kinda live. Also the pink snap matching is a bit bothersome, but ooh, who cares? <laughs> then we have I think Girls Night Out Dana's, I wanna say shoes but i'm pretty sure they may have re reused this mode on another like doll so i think those oh, not to stand falling <laughs> but i think this is yeah i think these are girls night out um dana shoes but yeah there's leia i think she's so gorgiana and i love her so much got those eyes all right next up we have i want to say design your own yasmin i think that's who she is but this is the outfit I gave her. She's one of the more basic girls of my restyles. But I feel like these girls help balance out the like chaoticness of the other girls. So we gave her this cute little top. Well, this cute little like fur, little coat thing. Then we gave her this cute um, shirt. Uh, I want to say these are Wintertime Wonderland Yasmin skirts. But I could be wrong. Then she has Princess Fiona's heels. And I want to say this is one of the newer dolls glasses. I mean, like 2018. I'm probably wrong, but yeah, she has those glasses and a very cute purse. Super simple. Um, of course, probably one of my least favorites, but I think she does the job well. Like she's definitely just like running to the mall. She's not really trying to give too much. You know, she's cute. She's cute or whatever. Next up, we have probably one of my favorite restyles ever nothing it's nothing crazy it's nothing crazy i'm kind of biased because it's destiny and she just came out so gorgeous of course look at that lip chip oh, let me let me back her up <laughs> let me back her up get out her face um but we have miss this passion for fashion destiny um she has been rerouted if you watched my last video so if you haven't go watch it well, my, not my last video, my last Bratz haul. I know it's like an hour long, <laughs> but she's in that video. So if you want to see a before and after, her hair was gross. It was matted. I didn't even attempt to fix it. I just knew I was going to reroute her, and that's exactly what I did. I gave her some gorgeous, shiny nylon hair, and it is everything. Okay. Um, But here she is. She has Miss Flashback Fever Jade's headband. Another girl's night out hair clip, some hoop earrings, get into her gig. She has this really cute necklace. Don't ask me whose it is, because I don't know. <laughs> then we have this Sweetheart Megan original top. I'm not sure if there's a difference between the original or the repro, but this is the original top. Um, she has this cute skirt, which I want to say is probably one of the Play Sports doll skirts, but like, don't quote me on that. Then I gave her some cute bracelets. Is it focusing? There we go. Got her some cute bracelets. And then one of the Wintertime Wonderland Girl shoes. Off the top of my head, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, there is Miss Destiny. This doll, Stunnelisha, Stunnelisha, st gorgeous. She just gives everything that needs to be gave. Like, I'm close to buying another one because I think I, the hair I chose is close to her originals, but it's a tad bit off. It's like a little too red. And I think I found the perfect match for her hair. So I kind of want to get another one and reroute re her with like the exact, her, her exact same like factory hairstyle, but like, like better hair quality. But I don't know. I don't need two Destinies, but like, I really want another one. But it's so pretty. Next up, we have Miss Passion for Fashion, Sasha. I don't know the, the, the edition off my top of my head, but it's one of the Passion for Fashion Shashas. And I did show her in one of my other videos, but here's a close-up look at her. 
gorgeous. She has um, Brat's mom's, I don't know how to say her mom's name, but Brat, Yasmin's mom's um, tracksuit thing. She has the top, not the top, I'm sorry, the jacket and the pants. This is, I want to say, oh, I don't know whose top this is. I really want to say Head Games. It's a very generic top. But I don't know who's stopping it off the top of my head. Um, then she has these fashion pack, um, like wedge sandals, which I think are so cute. And this are such a shirt, and also like a callback to to the gold in the outfit. But yeah, there she is. She's super simple, but she's cute. She's effective, and she's just that girl. Any Shasha is just is just that girl. So next up we have probably one of my most proudest restyles, just because of the amount of work. Well, I guess Destiny. This and her are kind of on the same level, but this is was well, once upon a time a Brie Brat, B Bratz brunette doll. I rerouted her with this gorgeous blonde hair because I have a thing for Bratz dolls with blonde hair and a tan skin. I don't know what it is. They don't. They didn't do it much. So like when it is done, or like if you customize your doll to give like any of your tan dolls who don't have blonde hair and you give them blonde hair. It just eats every single time. Like, look at her. Look at her. She's kind of giving Forever Diamonds, like, Chloe revamped. But this is B, B Bratz. It's just B Bratz. Like, they don't, they don't have names, but I guess she's kind of inspired by Yasmin or whatever. But she has some Forever Diamonds earrings. I want to say these are 2018 Chloe's glasses. Um, Don't ask me who who's pieces these are because I don't know <laughs> but she just looks so good she's kind of giving me Britney like I don't know like, I feel like she's a Britney stan um but yeah she has the silver top silver pants that I want to say belongs to a Brie Bratz right I don't know maybe all right these are just some silver pants they look good these are magic magic makeup hair magic makeup something Yasmin shoes so cute i love the shoe mode i think tell me these this shoe mode is a hit or miss with brats collectors but with me they are a hit i just love love, love the way they look they're not like super huge which i love the super huge shoes don't get me wrong but, like sometimes i want them to be really elegant and like dainty and like small and that's what those that's what those that's what these shoes give and yeah i love her so much her screening gorgeous i had to reroute her and give her a new life because she did come with a haircut she, I just, she was a random doll in a lot, and I was just like, I was literally going to discard her and just like throw her in like a bin and like never think about her again. But then I was like, you know what? I feel like she has more life in her. So I rewooded her, and now she is a baddie with her baddie friend. And last but not least, in this video, we have Passion for Fashion Sasha. She is so cute. She's not really matching the theme with the other girls who are kind of giving like pink. Um, she's giving them silver, but I feel like the, she kind of like, she's very neutral, so she kind of can go with them. But she's just giving blue. Like, I had to go with, like, her makeup theme, which is blue. And then you see the little curl, you see the little pink, like, going back to her lips. I kind of ate that. I didn't even realize I did that. But yeah, that's really cute. She is a rerouted um, pageant for fashion, Shasha. I got her Macari. Um, and she's everything. She has a little glue on her head, but I can remove, remove that later. She has this fur top, a, a blue top. She has these necklaces I gave her. They're falling off because I'm pretty sure these are Barbie necklaces. But like, Barbie necklaces sometimes eat. Like, if you can find the right ones. Most of mine I get in lots because I've been buying a lot of um, Bratz lots. So sometimes they come with accessories and I use them. Um, this is one of the sisters skirts this is like one of the brat sisters like the one that's one that's taller than the other um i don't know how to say their name so uh, but this is one of the twins i want to say oriana how do you say her name oriana's um belt with a broken chain um did she have some cute bracelets on this arm and this arm she has some leggings like yeah, some like leggings. Don't ask me who they are because like I know, like I literally do not know. I have an idea. Well, no, I don't. Wait, I think these are like arm things for like world world tour, yeah, world tour Yasmin or world house Yasmin. I think so, these are her arm things that I'm using them as leg warmers. I could be wrong. And then we have some winter time wonderland boots. 
and this is the perfect example of like how I love her with her dainty like little small like shoes and then these big old chunky like boots like I feel like it makes sense with this outfit you know what I mean um but I am obsessed she is my favorite style I've ever done on a brass doll um I usually don't restyle my brass dolls but that's how I felt fell out of love with my last collection and I sold them so this time around I am really like finding my love and enjoy for these dolls mostly I've been buying a lot of like messed up ones cleaning them up and then rerouting them not all of them but like a lot of them and it just like repurpose them and it's like makes you like your dolls more if that makes sense because basically you're like giving yourself something to do with them rather than buying them putting them on a the shelf and then forgetting they exist so yeah that's kind of what I've been doing with my breast dolls lately and yeah that is pretty much it for today's video I do have more restyles but I don't want to show them in this video because they're completely 180 from today's aesthetic. So if you're interested in seeing those, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Um, because they will be coming up soon. I'm still working on a couple more just so we have like a fleshed out video. I don't want to do a video on like two two restyles. Like it's gonna be kind of boring. <laughs> but yeah, that's that's it for today's video. And if you enjoy brushy styles, let me know who's your favorite um restyle of mine and you can let me know any restyle you've done lately i'd love to know um but yeah that's it for today's video and i'll see you in my next one bye